Let's see how we can import HTACP back up into our new server. Maybe you have an old server, you're moving to a new server. Let's see how you can import your HTACP backup via SSH. I've already written the post and you can just follow along with the post. If you go to Google, you can search for SSH. STR import SSH, STRCP import via SSH. And this is a post, bizanosa.com, STRCP restore backup via SSH. This is a post and we're going to follow this post. So first of all, we need to go in and download the backup. So log into your STRCP and for the user that you want the backup for, then go into that user. I'm just going to go into admin2. That is the user that you created. So you can see inside here we have two. We have two websites for this fella. And these websites are actually live. So if we go, we should be able to visit this website. So you can see right now the websites are live. And you saw how to install this website. So the next thing is we want to. We want to go into backup for this user. And download our backup. You can see that you only have one backup. But if you want multiple backups for this user. Maybe you want to store many backups. You can go back into the admin user, log in as the admin user for your server. And then here under admin, you'll see packages. The package that is being used by the other user is the default package. So I will edit this. And if I come down here under backups, I can increase the number of backups that will be stored for this user. Now let's say I want four backups. And I will just save. And now if we go back to users and I go into admin2, you'll see that now this fella has four backups that can be stored in their account. So I'm just going to click there on backups because I need to download the backup. You can create a backup if you want to. You can also add backup exclusions. Maybe you don't want certain files to be added into your backups. So if you click there to edit the exclusion, you can add a domain. Maybe there's a domain you don't want to back up. There are mail domains you don't want to back up. Databases, type the full database name. All right. You can do that there. But let's go back here into backup and let's download this. You can download it by coming here. You can restore the backup right there. But we don't want to restore it from there. We want to see how we can restore it via SSH. So the first thing, I'm going to download the backup. So the download is complete and I'm on Windows. You can follow along whether you're on Windows, Mac or Linux. It's going to work for you regardless of the platform that you're using. So I'm going to open up my home directory because I want to move this into my home directory. And here, let me see which directory I can put it in. Let me put it here. Yeah, that's empty. So I'll just put it inside there. My backup file. So if you're on Windows, download Git and then install Git and then open Git Bash because that's what you're going to use. If you don't use Git Bash, you can use any other Linux environment for Windows, but I'm using Git Bash. We've downloaded the backup. Let me just delete it now. I don't need it. We're going to see it being imported via SSH. And then just to confirm that we've actually imported things, we're going to delete everything that is inside here. I'll just delete them one at a time. Delete. With the selected, I can just delete them from here. Delete. So you can see we don't have anything. Let's see if there's anything that we have that we can remove. DNS. Let's go and remove all this DNS. We're going to re-import everything back for this user. Databases. Delete this as well. Anything else? All right, that's all we need to do for this user. Now you can see this user doesn't have anything. We're going to import everything back. So if you come back into this post, the first thing we've done is we've downloaded our backup. I'm going to use SCP to send this file into, into the backups folder. Now on Linux, on HTACP, they store their backups inside there. So if we go inside of that directory, we can do ls.
Is it backups or backup? Okay, it's backup. If you go in here, you'll see that we do have a backup for admin and we do have a log files as well. So this is where Hestia stores their backup file. We need to change the permission for that directory just temporarily because we need to we need to bring things into that directory and we're going to change the permissions temporarily and then after that we'll change them back right now the permissions are at 755 and that is not going to allow us to bring anything into that into that directory so i'm going to change it to this temporarily the permission has been changed the next thing we need to upload our file into that directory now you can do this any way that you like to you can use scp i'm going to use scp but you can also use ftp if you want to use ftp you can do the same so probably if you're using ftp you'll find that you may not be able to access that backup file via your ftp client but what you can do is you can just move it into any directory and then just use the move command to move it from that directory into the backup directory where it needs to be i hope you understand what i mean use ftp to move it anywhere onto your server and then move it into the backup directory so when you're using the scp command you're going to use scp which is secure copy to copy files from my computer into my server this is going to be our destination this is going to be our destination we're going to move it from the local pc into the server so this part you'll do this on your local computer so there are two options here example one if you're not using ssh i'm assuming that you followed my ubuntu 22.04 initial server setup if you did not then this is a part for you so you're going to scp and then this is the location for your file that you've just downloaded and make sure it is now the reason i moved it into my home directory was because i wanted to use this this will save me time on windows I don't have to do anything else once i do this the system will know that this is my home directory this is a link to my, my home directory you'll see how i do that and then you can scp that is a file you need to upload and then you're uploading it to your server into which location into this location okay so that's how you use scp of course i'm not going to use this because my, in my server i changed my port and i also use an ssh key let me copy this because this is the one we're going to use to copy the file into our server. So I'm going to copy this and I want to edit it. So I'll just paste it in here. SCP port as a search, I need to change the location. It was inside of BAP and also let me copy the name so let me just show you control c if i take this and i put it i put it here now this is the same as that that's why i decided to put it inside of my home directory so i'm going to i'm going to copy it here this is a this is a location for where the file is and then i will copy the name And I will replace that there. That is a path. So this entire thing is the same as that. Is the same as that. So if you're on Windows, just move it to your home directory. Even on Linux, you can get to your home directory this way. So the new user, what's my IP? I need to get my IP. That's my IP address. The IP for my server, I will put that there, paste, and I think that's all the details that I need to change. Just note that the dash P is capital in this case. When you're logging via SSH, usually it's a small P. So I will come here, paste, enter yes enter oh <laughs> oh my god i've messed up i've messed up okay this is supposed to be done on my local computer let me open this here i'm supposed to do this on my local machine so i'm going to paste that there do it on your local computer not on the server
enter and I will log into my server enter so just give it time to copy there we go the file has been copied now if you go back to our server we can do ls and we're going to see the file is there ls i think i already did that command here yeah you can see the file has been added for admin 2 so this is the one that we want to use to restore our backup but before we even do anything let's change the permission for this file for this folder back to 755 so we need to change it back to 755 so that this do not have the permissions to write execute and read the next step is to restore the backup we've changed the permissions now let's just restore the backup now to restore the backup you're going to use this on ubuntu you have to add all this just add this if you don't add this and you only use that it's not going to work so this restore user and then that is the username that you are restoring for and then this is a file that we are restoring now if the username you want a different username maybe you want to use a different username here change the username there and also change the username on the file there the first bit of it make sure you do that if you want to change the username now i'm just going to copy this I'm going to copy that only and the rest we are going to get here we are going to restore we are going to restore admin2 admin2 if you want a different name give a different name there if you want a new user to be created with a different name give the different name and then we are going to paste that file name and press enter just give it time to do what it's doing it's going to restore everything that you need so it's restoring the web files and then the dns there's no mail to restore if you didn't want to back up any of this you would have chosen them to be left out of the backup and you saw how you can do that let me go back to my server i'm going to refresh to see that all the backup is back and as soon as i refresh you'll see that our backup is back our database is back our dns records are back our web is back as well so that is how you can move from one server to another if you're migrating your stscp server so just note that with scp you don't really have to download the backup what you can actually do here scp this uh, if you are already on your server you just need to add the login details for the new server there those are the login details in my case i'm using our ssh key and this is the source file when you're already on your server all you need to do is you just need to come in here copy and change the location for where the file is which in this case if it is currently on your current server it will be there so if you are migrating from one stcp server to another in the server where you have stcp installed and you have the backup just do that and you won't have to download the backup all right so that's how you can migrate your stcp just come here all the steps are here for you to follow. Very few steps. That's it.